Hello everyone and welcome to Kill the Facts. Today we are going to talk about Phantasm from 1979. So there's two iconic, and I mean really iconic, things about this movie. One being the tall man who is fantastic and I'm pretty sure that when the dude who created Slender Man on the Something Awful forums back in the day was creating Slender Man, he took tons of inspiration from the tall man. But I want to talk about those chrome balls for a second. Those chrome balls were actually made by Willard Green, who unfortunately died before the movie could actually be shown in theaters. Mostly because the movie started production in 1977 and didn't actually come out until 1979. Uh, the other really cool thing, so if you watch the movie, you'll see the balls fly through the screen. And obviously in 1979, they didn't have like... CGI. So, or they did have CGI, it wasn't really useful to them. So, what they did is, they had a baseball pitcher throw the chrome ball and then they just reversed the footage, which worked out splendidly. So, originally this movie was three hours long, but the director cut it because he was worried it would not hold people's attention. Now, some of that footage was actually reused for Phantasm 4, including an alternate ending. The rest of the footage, unfortunately, has become lost, and we really don't know where it's at. Um, hopefully, J.J. Abrams maybe has some for the 4K restoration, and it could come up as a bonus feature for the Blu-ray. Speaking of J.J. Abrams, did you know that he actually named Captain Phasma based off the balls in Phantasm, obviously because of the chrome. He's the one that's working on the 4K restoration of the movie, so hopefully when that comes out, maybe we'll get a really good commentary track where J.J. Abrams will, or not a commentary track, but maybe like a behind the scenes of the restoration, we'll see some really cool stuff. But while we're on the topic of Star Wars again, the dwarfs from this movie look just like the Jawas from A New Hope. But the design for the dwarfs was actually made in early 77, before Star Wars came out. So, that is actually just pure coincidence. The last bit of trivia I want to tell you, I have to put uh, a little warning. This is pretty much purely rumor, but I've got to include it because if it is true, this is awesome. So, Lemmy of Motorhead, rest in peace apparently wrote the song Ace of Spades while watching a screening of this movie in New York. He said that Mike's head looked like the Ace of Spades, so he spent the rest of the movie writing the song. And, well, now we have one of the greatest metal songs ever, quite possibly thanks to Phantasm. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what movies you would like to have a couple of facts thrown at you for, and I will definitely go over it. It was really fun making this. You can also hear more about this movie on killthecast.podbean.com or on Stitcher or iTunes by searching Kill the Cast, where we did an entire podcast on Phantasm. So if you'd like to see that, there will be links below for the Podbean. We are also on Facebook where you can like and subscribe and uh, follow us and everything we do. We talk a lot on there, and we also uh, talk about giving away stuff. In fact, soon coming up, we will be doing a couple of giveaways. So keep checking us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Podbean, and we will see you next time. I'm Jerry. This has been Kill the Cast, and uh, keep watching horror movies.